Hi everybody, welcome back. I've got a new idea. Um, I've done a few pinwheel Dutch pours, so explosive Dutch pours from blowing from the centre of the canvas in straight lines out. I'm going to this time, I'm going to layer my paints in my pinwheel, but then blow it out in a pinwheel shape as well, just to see how, if I can get that real blend of colours. I'm going to use a rainbow, so the full rainbow of colours. Um, I'm just using up paint that I've already got mixed because I'm not wanting to mix any new, new colours. I've got loads of colours to use. Um, so really excited to see what will happen with this piece. I have here a 50 centimetre square canvas. I've found the centre of my canvas. I've drawn a circle. You might not be able to see it because it's quite faint. Um, and then I've just drawn some rough lines. So these are the lines that I want my paint to follow. And then when I use my hairdryer to blow it out, I'm also going to try and blow it out in that direction. I've got, I don't know if you can see around the edge of my canvas, I've got a whole rainbow of colours. So reds, orange, yellow, greens and turquoises, blues, purples and pinks. So I'm going to place them on in a whole rainbow. So start with the reds and going round and then obviously ending with the reds. Um, I'm going to just drizzle them on and I'm going to try and overlap the colours quite a bit so that it, it's like a nice sort of gradient around. Um, let's just check. I put push pins in but I haven't checked that this is level. So let's just check it's level before we start. Yep, the canvas is level. Right, let's start with the red. Oh, incidentally, I'm leaving a, cent a circle in the centre. I don't want my colour to come right into the centre. I might just fill my centre with some white or even some black. I'm not, I'm not sure yet. Um, I think I will do that afterwards, though. So all my paints are mixed to my Dutch pour consistency, which means I've added flood flow, troll and water. I've also divided the paints into four. So I guess if I'm thinking reds, so I want it really to go up to about there, I think, with the reds. So I think what I will do is just put some colours on and then I'll come back and add lots more. I know my paints are all very uneven with the amount I've got on at the moment, but that's, that doesn't matter. I just wanted to make sure I had enough room for the entire rainbow. So I'm now just going to add lots more paint to fill in some of these gaps. I'm going to do lots of, sort of wiggly lines because I want everything to overlap a bit more. Right, I'm really happy with the amount of paint I've got around here. I need to add a lot more up in this section at the top here. I think I just have more shades of similar colours down here, so I just need to, yeah. Now, I'm just working out if that's enough paint. I think it probably is. I don't want to cover the entire canvas because obviously it's going to get blown out, so bits will be blown off over the edges. Um, I'm just going to add some little bits of white because that will just brighten the whole thing up in places. Right, so as I said, I'm going to blow this out 
in the direction of the curve. I love it oh my goodness I love it one line I'm not happy with there's a bit of a stark orange line there so I'm just going to blend that a bit more wow oh it's so pretty Wow, what a beautiful blend. Right, what am I going to do in the centre? Oh, I've got something in my paint up here. I think I'm going to go white. And then what I want to do is pull some of the colours in now and swirl it around. I think I'm just going to do that with my finger. So, so happy, so excited. It's worked so well. I managed to pull all the colours into the centre, so it just looks like they blend together. So it's basically just a whirlpool of colours. I wonder if black might have looked better. I think if I do it again, I'd do black in the centre, so it looks, so it's got more depth to it. But look at this blend. Absolutely amazing gradient of colours. They just really do blend seamlessly. You've got a few cells which are from the white, actually. Um, I had thought about putting some silver in. I then would have, would have got more cells, but I didn't really want the silver because I think it would have looked quite grey. Whereas the white just makes it, it just brightens everything and makes it look really pretty. I just love how it flows one colour to the next to the next. So it's just a never ending rainbow of colours. Wow, so happy. It's just so bright, so bold, so colourful. Really excited. 
I'll be back when it's dry. It's now dry. It's dried so well. I'm so happy with it. Absolutely love it. Um, as you probably know, I just like bright, full on, crazy, chaotic paintings. And this one it is exactly that. Um, let me show you the center first of all. Love the center. Just love how it draws every single color in into a swirl. So the center looks right. It doesn't look awkward. It just looks like it blends with the rest of the painting. I do think black would have looked better because then it would have looked like a dark hole and it would have had more depth. So I definitely want to go again, but I think doing a, a black center, the blend of colors is beautiful. And everywhere you've just got these little patches of lacing um, and cells. They're quite subtle, uh, which I think is good because it then doesn't detract from the rainbow and the full on um, bright brightness of the colors. Um, yeah, just so happy. Love that really bright yellow that goes through there. Um, and if you look at the yellow, in fact, it's down here, but it also does actually creep right up here as well. And I like that, that the colours do really spread through the painting. Yeah, really happy, really inspired, really um, excited to do to go again and do something, something similar, but maybe with a different colour palette. Um, yeah, the, there's just so many options, so many possibilities with this technique. Um, please let me know what you think. What colours do you think would work? Um, I'm tempted to go with sort of blues and purples. Um, I do really like the blues and greens and turquoises there. I think that would look really good um, as a colour scheme for this style. Let me know what you think. Please leave me a comment below. Um, I'd love to hear your ideas. Great, thank you so much for watching. Um, please do hit the thumbs up button if you like it. Great, take care. Bye.